emerald. I've told you a thousand times. You're recovering from you YouTuber loss itis. You can't stand up. If you even try, you'll li you'll lose even more subscribers than you already are. Uh, I already am. Uh. So, uh, what was that one thing I had to do again? You had to do that uh, Real Thoughts video, I think, with the little Eevee characters from Pokemans. Pokemon. God darn it, I've got to do that. No! Oh! The 20 subscribers! Oh. So I can walk this entire time. Well, I'm going to go do that. No, wait! This is Ah, and he's gone. Looks like well, he'll be stuck at 20 subscribers for the rest of his career. Dang, I missed this chair. <clears throat> it's been a long time. Okay. I think I might want to get a new chair. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I mean, come on. This chair is just getting pretty old. Look, look at this. This chair is getting very old. Good grief. So today, we will be reviewing Miles from Home. Chapter 1. Let's begin. Let's begin. So the chapter starts off with an Eevee just waking up to a Torchic that is just annoying him. What? He just woke up. But yes, he woke up. And then they start walking. They introduce their, themselves. Ah, uh, Milo, specifically. Riley, specifically. And they uh, are pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we get a Butterfree and a Meryl just yelling at each other. And uh, it's because the Butterfree just lost her baby in a fissure. Pretty random, but... Okay, okay. And uh, I, have a, I have a start feeling that this is just Pokemon Mystery Dungeon all over again. Just, just the actual game of it. Uh... Don't know why Agent 9 decided to go this direction, but I mean, sure, 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 let's go with it. Let's go with it, see what happens. So Milo and Riley get to the Fisher, and they find the Caterpie after fighting a Pidgey and so many other Pokemon. And they get the Caterpie out, and uh, they, they bring the Caterpie back home, and uh, they have a wonderful day. Ain't that fun. So then, the Eevee and the Torchic create a rescue team and send in a form. Oh wait, that doesn't exist yet, or any time in the week, but okay, uh, we'll accept this for now. Uh, and then they just, they just decide, hey, hey, we're just gonna do some stuff. And then some stuff happens, and they're at the lake. <laughs> and then Caterpie brings in this Magnemite, for some reason. Oh yeah, it's because... The Magnemite lost his friends. That's a big oof, but oh well, oh well, uh, too bad for him. Too bad for the Magnemite. Magnemite, 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 Magnemite. So then the Magnemite shows them to the cave, and Miley, Milo and Riley go into the cave, and they go deep into the cave, and then they get attacked. By a poison type and a couple electric types. And then they defeat them. Riley gets paralyzed. Milo is poisoned. And then uh, and then uh, the elect kid just screams to the top of his lungs. And calls out for his little mommy. Oh, 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 poor little kitty. Poor little kid. Aw. Uh, I would be so embarrassed for that voice actor that played him in that in the Dimensional Dubs channel. He must be a loser. <laughs> so anyway, the Electrive arrives, and it chases Milo and Riley down deeper and deeper into the cave, until they get knocked out and stuff like that. And then they are found by some Mightyena and Poochiana, and some other mons that are not Electrotype. They take him in, <clears throat> Take him in, and they find an electric evolution stone. And Milo, and Milo was going to touch it. 
And suddenly Riley just says, Wait! No! Stop! No! 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 Don't do that! No! 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 And Miles like, Why is that? And Riley is like, Here! 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 Long story! Long story short! Let me explain this! And he just explains that entire backstory with a very changing uh, art style. Haven't you noticed that this art style really changes in this in this in this series? I I don't know what's happening here, but uh, if more chapters are done, we will discuss this further on in the future. If if we survive, if we survive life after that horrific explanation, which was a flashback chapter. My gosh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be myself, I am gonna, I am not gonna reference any comic or anything that might hurt me from past reactions and stuff. Let's continue, let's continue. So finally, they were able to get the Magnemite out, and... And, uh, they head back to the camp. And, uh, Riley departs from Milo, and Milo tries to get a tent. Unfortunately, the Chansey were a bunch of jerks! Ain't that fun? Ain't that fun when Chanseys are just jerks, weirdos, really bad people that need to be in jail? Ick. And so Milo had to go into the woods and uh, sleep there. And that is how the chapter ends. I love the writing for this. I, I like the writing for this. It's, it, it was very good. It was very good. Although the, although the, the, although the art style changes drastically a lot, which is pretty dis distracting, uh, it, it, it's still, a, still a good comic, still a good comic. I, I, I have my hopes for this, and, uh, this is Emerald 56, signing off. No, logging off, because signing off is outdated. And it's good to be back! Yeah, let's go! We're back in business, people! Back in business! Back in business! We're back in business!